Hello and welcome to study with Sudhir, India's digital classroom. We are just very tantalizingly close to the board examinations that are going to start in the last week of April. Actually, if you do not count today, you have essentially 14 days before the class 10 ICSC board examinations start. Now, most of you are done with the pre-board examinations. Most of you, right? Uh, I know some of you will say, Hamare chal rahe hai, tera hai, and all that. But a majority of you have finished with the pre-board examinations on Saturdays when the parent teachers meeting happened in many schools. I know I've already put out a video on what you should do depending on how your pre-board examination results were. If they were not as per expectations, what you should do, please go and have a look at the video and implement what I have suggested you should be doing. Uh, it will really help you. Now, the next two weeks, your schools are not likely to call you. This will be your study leave, right? So you have no excuses now that as yaha jana pad raha hai, wahan jana pad raha hai. Abhi aap hai, aap ki books hai, aap ki notes hai, aap ki assignments hai, right? Aap ki test papers hai, right? That's what you should do between April 11, I'm not counting 10th, April 11 and April 24, right? That has to be your 14 day focus, okay? Uh, that's what I am saying. I'm calling it the volcano strategy. Jwala Mukhi ki tarah, you have to be there. You have to have the glow of a Jwala Mukhi, right? And you need to tell yourself every day, every day, I am the best. I am the best. Have confidence in yourself. That is very important. Keep motivating yourself every hour that I am the best and I am going to achieve what my parents' dreams are and more importantly, what I think I am capable of. That's very important. So I am the best is something is has to be your core mantra, right? Now, uh, study leave, I've already spoken about that you will be getting study leave. So in that sense, the countdown has begun. The countdown has begun. So brace yourself up for the challenge. What is Ram 800? In case if any one of you needs help, if any one of you thinks that your physics, your chemistry, your geography, your biology, your mathematics, your history civics is not up to the mark, in the interest of all non-SWS students who are not part of our app so far, what we have done is to slash the course fee by 34 to 40%. So please go and have a look at it. This is a special Ram Navmi offer of offer valid only till midnight tonight. Okay. So please go and have a look at it. Save some money and make use of the courses. These courses are designed for you. All the live classes recordings will be there. All the recorded videos will be there. The notes will be there. The test papers will be there. Doubt solving will happen before the examination. So you'll get everything possible. So please take advantage even at this late stage. RAM 800 is the discount code that you need to use in order to get the code, okay, uh, discount. Now, the last point before I get into the details, the specific, I am the best and remember this is your project, right? Project U, U ke bajai, you can put your name. It could be project Abhishek, it could be pro project Ashutosh, it could be project Shreya, it could be project Astha, it could be project Anushka, it could be project Manvil, it could be project Param, anyone right i just took the names of all my students project you you have to focus on yourself right and your target need not be anything less than a 98 percent remember bolte hain ki no humko to nahi hoga semester one mein jo hua bhool jao focus on semester two past is past you need to focus on tomorrow because tomorrow is what counts remember my greatest olympic prize so Semester 2, 98% because your seniors have achieved it and the people who get 98%, 98.5%, कोई ये Mars या Mercury या Venus या कोई और planet से नहीं आते हैं, यही पे रहते हैं, आपके बीच में रहते हैं, आपके ही classroom में रहते हैं. So you also are capable of being here so long as you focus on this. So long as you focus on this, so long as you take advantage of this, this, everything. You can achieve 98%, right? Now, let's get into the specifics, okay? This is the April calendar, right? Very important, April and May, we are here, right? We are on the 10th of April right now, okay? 
Now, what I want you to do is looking at the date sheet, the timetable that you have for ICSC class 10 in particular and ISC class 12 or CBSE students can make a similar timetable. But I am giving you the broad contours of how you should plan the next 14 odd days. Okay. Group 1, I am clubbing English language, English literature, history, civics and the EVS examination. These are your first four papers. EVS will not be for obviously for everyone, in which case it will be English 1, 2 and history, civics, right? Depending on what your uh, elective subjects are, okay? Group 2 is mathematics, the second language, Hindi or Tamil, Bengali, Marathi, whatever be the case and geography. This is group 2. Group 3 is physics and chemistry. Group 4 is biology and the optional subject, computers, physical education, music, whatever, okay? Group 5 is the elective 2, which may not be that happening in many of the cases. But anyway, I have put it in 5 groups. Now, what is it that you need to do? Why did I make this 5 groups? Let's start from what you need to do. How many hours do you need to put in every day from now onwards? 10 hours every day. Pakka, non-negotiable. Non-negotiable is 10 hours of study time every single day. Ye karna padega. 24 ghante mein se 14 ghante fir bhi aapke hain. Usme se 8 ghante so jau. Fir bhi 6 ghante ka free time rahega. Sirf 10 ghante aapko every day without fail consistently over the next 14 days padna padega. Okay. Now, out of this 10 hours, how do you divide it? You need to solve one sample paper every day. One sample paper of any subject. The subject is of your choice which you think is necessary. But ensure that you don't keep doing, you know, ki main sirf char mathematics ke ya char geography ke paper solve karta rao. Nahi. You need to kind of vary it so that you cover maximum number of subjects. So in 14 days, you do 14 papers. Now, in this you spend 2 hours. How do you spend 2 hours? 1 and a half hours of writing time average and 10 minutes of reading time simulate in exactly the same way the way you will appear for the examination at more or less the same time right and then 20 minutes 20 25 minutes of your um, seeing how you have done it ensure that you have the answer key so that you match karke dekh sakte hain ki whether the answers are correctly written or not okay and since it's a subjective question paper, aap likhenge to aapko aadat pad jayegi. Yes, you have done so in the pre-board examinations. But agar aap 14 din dalenge to next 3 weeks jab aapke exam chalenge, so you will be in the same mindset, the same frame of mind and it will help you in better articulation of thought, better expression when you actually write the examination. So one sample paper every day 10 hours. Baki bache 8 ghante. How do you spend the 8 hours? That's what I am going to talk about. Now, of course, before this, it's a given and I'm sure all your good bachas will keep all distractions away. Social media ko kam karo, television ko bilkul mat dekho, jada apne doston se baat cheet mat karo, bar mat ghumo, achha khana khao and keep hydrated. All this is given. I'm sure you would have ticked all these boxes. Okay. And uh, itna to banta hai, you know, you can devote that much time to yourself because as I said, it is project you. Okay. Now, out of these eight hours that you have now, after the two hours, that you keep out for the sample paper, the test paper, any of the other pre-board papers every day kind of thing. What you need to do is to look at between 11th and uh, the first um, uh, week, uh, between the 11th and the 16th, what you need to do is to forget group 1, isko chhod do, group 5 ko chhod do, okay. Group 2, group 3 and group 4. Group 2, you would devote between the 11th and the 16th of the month, 3 hours every day, okay? Group 3, physics and chemistry, another 3 hours. 3 plus 3, 6 hours. Which part of the day you want to study physics and which part of the day you want to study geography is entirely your choice. Ideally, you should not try to study uh, a subject like geography when you are likely to feel sleepy not like you know at 3 30 in the afternoon don't study geography us time pay mathematics ya physics padna don't you could study geography early in the morning when your mind is more fresh right you have to vary it depending on which time of the day is it and when your body is kind of fresh okay there are a lot of students who have been writing you know see it can come put Pour cold water on your face, sab ho jayega. And two hours for groups D, uh, group four. So 
3 plus 3, 6 plus 2, 8. This has to be your division between the 11th and the 16th of April. Okay. 3 hours here, 3 hours here, 2 hours here for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 days. Okay. Ye ho gaya for the first 6 days. 17, 18, 19 is your second phase. Okay. Is your second phase. Or isme aap, agar aapka elective hai, to isme aap yahan par do ghanta laga sakte hai. Okay. Mere ko dekhna padega so that I don't forget myself the timetable I have made. Okay. So, group 5, 2 hours. Abhi group 4 ko chhod do because group 4 biology ke pehle aapke paas gap hai. Okay. So, you can afford to take it a little easy as far as biology is concerned. If you have devoted 10 hours, uh, 12 hours here, 2 into 6 days, 12 hours of study of biology and your optional subject should be good enough if you have done it well. Okay. Then, baaki aap us samay pe chhod sakte hai because bio ke pehle aapke paas gap hai. Chemistry or bio ke beech mein achha gap hai. Okay. Then, what you need to do is to devote 2 hours to the elective subject, 2 hours to group 3, again 2 hours here, 4, okay, isko chhod do and you bring it here and you devote 4 hours to group 1, that is English 1, English 2 and History Civics. Taki aapka opening, aapke jo opening do batsmen hai aur one down pe jo aata hai, achha score kare, okay, that is important. To isko 4 ghanta dijiye. अगर ये एलेक्टिव सब्जेक्ट एलेक्टिव टू सब्जेक्ट आपके केस में नहीं है संस्कृत फ्रेंच कमर्शियल एप्लीकेशंस वगैरह अगर आपका नहीं है तो आप वो दो घंटा इधर टू दिस या दिस या दिस आपकी मर्जी जो भी है आप किसी इसमें ग्रुप फोर या ग्रुप टू किसी को भी डिवोट कर सकते हैं ये एडजस्टमेंट आपको करना पड़ेगा ओके बट दिस इज नॉन नेगोशिएबल 4 घंटा सेकंड फेज में 17th टू 19th में 4 घंटा आपको ग्रुप 1 को देना पड़ेगा इंग्लिश 1 इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड हिस्ट्री सिविक्स उसके बाद आता है वी आर गेटिंग क्लोजर टू द एग्जामिनेशन 20th टू 22nd ये तीन दिन वो तीन दिन 20 तारीख 21 तारीख 22 तारीख इन तीन दिनों में क्या करोगे आपको यहां पे अगेन 4 घंटा देना पड़ेगा 4 आवर्स टू ग्रुप 1 एंड 4 आवर्स टू ग्रुप 2 ताकि आपका ओपनिंग पेयर भी अच्छा खेले और आपका मिडिल ऑर्डर भी अच्छा परफॉर्म करे तो आप इन दोनों पे फोकस कीजिए इसकी तैयारी काफी हो गई इन दोनों पे फोकस कीजिए इंग्लिश 1 टू हिस्ट्री सिविक्स मैथमेटिक्स लैंग्वेज एंड ज्योग्राफी इन छह पेपरों पे 20 21 22 को फोकस कीजिए ओके 23 और 24 द लास्ट टू डे सी द व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट यू हैव दीस टू एग्जामिनेशंस कंटीन्यूअसली राइट इंग्लिश 1 इंग्लिश 2 राइट सो उस 23 और 24 को यू विल स्टडी ओनली इंग्लिश सिर्फ इंग्लिश ही आप पढ़ेंगे 23 तारीख को और 24 तारीख को ओके दिस विल इन्वॉल्व ऑफ कोर्स थ्रू द थिंग यू विल इन्वॉल्व एज वी हैव बीन डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सरसाइजेस राइटिंग ऑफ एसेस लेटर्स नोटिस ईमेल लिटरेचर में जितनी बारी आप टेक्स्ट पढ़ो वन स्टूडेंट रोट टू मी दैट ही हैज रिवाइज्ड मर्चेंट ऑफ वेनिस ट्वाइस याद नहीं रहता है नो बाबा यू नीड टू रिवाइज इट सम 8 टू 9 टाइम्स only then mov yaad rahega aur aapko sirf do scene padne hai i mean teen scene act 1 scene 1 act 1 scene 2 which is one page and act 5 scene 1 right so only three scenes you need to study just read it multiple times taki aapko puri tarah se raat ko 3 baje koi utha ke puche ki usme kya hua tha to aapko wo dialogue yaan passage kaun se passage kahan se liya hai kisne bola hai aapko yaad rehna chahiye so this is the way to do it clinically this is the most elaborate timetable. I had done a similar one earlier for 2020 batch, right? But this, I want you to follow over the next 14 days. Next two weeks, you have to be in charge of your time, your life, your destiny. Your destiny is in your hands and I'm sure each one of you can do it. All the best to you. More power to each one of my singers. Thank you very much.